As a creator, I always like to have some kind of pocket-friendly camera on me that I can rely on at all times for things like good image quality, autofocus, and stabilization for when I don't have my full-frame camera. Today we're going to take a look at how the new Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus performs as a creator's camera. I'm pumped for this one. What's going on everybody? Tell me everything man here. On paper, Samsung's newest flagship phone seemed like a beast in the camera department. Now the S10 Plus shoots 4K at 60 frames per second, but one thing I'm going to complain about right away is that there's no 24 frames per second with the stock app. Aside from the standard and telephoto lenses, we also have a brand new super wide angle lens. And we have 4K on the front facing cameras as well. And I've downloaded a bunch of third party apps from the Google Play Store, but either they don't shoot 24 frames per second or they don't access the third super wide angle lens. And I'm seriously considering switching from Apple. Those of you that know my channel know that I'm a big Apple guy. I love Apple. But I also like Android phones. And this Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus so far through the first few days has been outstanding. But something is stupid for a person like me to not be able to shoot 24 frames per second, it kind of hinders me a little bit. So I'm not 100% positive that I'm going to make that switch. We'll see. So for this video, we're stuck with 30 frames per second, aka soap opera mode, and we're on the stock camera app. So that's what we're working with. Now I haven't filmed on the Galaxy S10 Plus yet. I wanted to wait for you guys so we could do this together. As you can see, I ain't got no friends. So you guys are hanging out with me for the day. Freaking deal with it. So first we're gonna start off with a few stills, get those out of the way, and then we're gonna dive into the video side of things. All right, so next up is video. We're gonna do a little vlogging test. We're gonna do an image stabilization test. We're gonna do an autofocus test. It's all in one, so just focus on whatever part you wanna focus on. All right, so here's the Galaxy S10 Plus. We have super steady mode on right now. Unfortunately, it's only available in the normal lens. Can't get it on a super wide angle. I'm gonna walk full speed right now. We're gonna do a little turn ski. We're gonna come back. Not trying to hold this as steady as I can. I'm just walking normal. I'm actually walking pretty fast. What do you guys think? It is a bright sunny day out today. Has the image quality look, has the stabilization look. All right, here is the super wide angle lens. I'm elbow to ribs again. Got a little bend to the arm. Got the wrist bent up for you guys. And you're also hearing the onboard microphone throughout this whole video with whatever footage is shot on the Galaxy S10 Plus. Now I didn't shoot any actual videos with this wide angle lens, but I did see some samples that I was just toying around with. And man, I gotta tell you, this thing is super, super wide. I wonder if we'll even need image stabilization on this. Let's do a little walking test. This is walking like I gotta get somewhere real quick, like I'm running late. There's no smoothness in this walk. This is my smooth walk, if you guys really wanna see my smooth walk. <laughs> What's up, player? All right. Yeah, I'ma holla at you. That's my smooth walk right there. I do that all the time in public. People seem to love it. There's full extension with the grip on, and we are Gotta be at least a foot and a half from my face. Can you even see me from all the way over there? The only thing I would like to see added, which I know is coming and I kind of predicted it in my iOS 13 video, which I'll link in the description below, is fake bokeh. Bokeh. Ever since Gerald Dundun did his video of how to correctly pronounce camera terms, now I gotta stop and think every time I say something. Did Gerald say, did Gerald say that was right? Is that correct? 
I hate saying bokeh. I like boca, so I'm just gonna keep saying it wrong purposely because it's easier to say and I think it sounds better. But I thought we would have saw in the Galaxy S10 and 10 Plus some kind of fake live focus mode for video, which would have been nice. It would have, you know, came one step closer to replacing a real DSLR or mirrorless camera or vlogging setup if we can get some kind of blurry background, even if it's fake, if it's done correctly, it'll look good. It'll bring more focus to the creator and the subject, and I think that'll be a major win. I'm sure we're going to see that at some point on some smartphone camera, but I guess as of right now, we got to keep waiting. Alright, now last on the test is the front facing camera. We have it going at 4K, I'm assuming 30 frames per second. It doesn't even tell you frames per second. I don't get what Samsung is doing here. Apple has been doing 24 frames per second for, I don't know, two, three years now. I mean, it is nice to see yourself right on the screen that you're filming on. I don't think I would be using this because the camera does seem to be a little bit of downgrade in quality even though we are shooting 4k oh, that's a steep little hill to fall down let's take a look see at that that right there is where you throw them dead bodies now here it is indoors well indoors in cars in the doors of the car we're in a car i guess the image quality looks okay it's not bad I am happy that they finally brought 4K to the front facing cameras. One other feature that I do kind of like, I don't know how much I would use it, but it's nice to have the option there. For video on this phone in the stock camera app, when you're shooting video, you don't necessarily have to stop the video. You could just pause it like so. See, and now we're over here. I pause it and then I unpause it. I think that's a pretty cool feature. All right, I gotta interrupt real quick. And the reason why I'm interrupting is because I think we've all seen enough here. After looking at this footage back on the actual computer and not on the small, not on the, on the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, I don't know if it's the lack of 24 frames per second and I just don't like 30 frames per second, or if it was the harsh sunlighting, but either way, I wasn't super impressed with the image quality on the video side of things. But on the photo side of things, things look pretty good. Now, I'm not saying that the video quality is terrible by any means. I'm just saying, for a phone that can cost up to $1,600, I expect a little more. And I definitely expect 24 frames per second. I don't care if I sound like a broken record, I find it a little ridiculous. What, I got a tick on me? I find it a little ridiculous that we don't have 24 frames per second and it really bothers me. Now, the super wide angle lens on the other hand, I enjoy the super wide angle lens. I think the super wide angle lens that doesn't have super steady shot available is actually more stable than the regular wide angle lens that does have super steady shot. I think that the super wide angle lens handled motion a lot better and looked a lot more smoother. What I think is going on is the super wide angle lens, you can't turn off super steady shots, so they don't even have it as an option. So we're all thinking that it doesn't have it, but it looked pretty stable in my opinion. Anyway, there you have it. That's just my opinion on the whole situation. Don't let it steer you in any direction. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, please. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at the underscore everything, man. If you are not yet subscribed, please do so. I'd appreciate it highly. Until next time, this is your boy. This is your man. Tam the Everything Man, signing out. Thank you for watching. Salute. Raise your hands up. Raise them up.